The Church of God International of Worcester, Massachusetts meets the second and fourth Saturday of each month. Services are held at the Comfort Inn Hotel, located at 426 South Bridge Street, Auburn, Massachusetts. Welcome again to another show of Let's Talk Bible. We seriously talk Bible and we are not kidding. We go deep into the scriptures of God. We reveal things that you never know was hidden in the scriptural text that you hold every day. This Bible, this book called the Bible, which contains the, the plan of salvation, is something that we believe wholeheartedly that we have to carry forward to the world. And there are some things that we know that we have to explain to you through the power of the Holy Spirit. And today we'll talk about a very interesting topic. A very interesting topic. A topic that is on many persons' mind. What is repentance? What is repentance? How can someone repent? What should they be repenting of? How, how, could, how can they come to repentance? These are some important questions that persons ask. And certainly today we have Joe Aquesto and Mama G. We'll certainly look into these topics. We, we will explore the deep mysteries of the Word of God. And as our topic suggests, Mama G, what is uh, repentance? How can someone repent? And what should they repent of? Well, repentance is a gift from God. Mm -hmm. It says that clearly in scripture. Yes. And uh, repentance sounds like a really hot felt sorrow. Oh. I mean, really sorry for what you have done, what you've done for your way of life, for the sins that you've committed. You mm -hmm. have to know what sin is. We okay. talked about that what in is? another session. Mm -hmm. Sin is. The transgression of the I law. Think I think today you have yes, to tell him what that transgression to, is. <laughs> so you have to know what sin is, mm -hmm. and we have to be very sorry for our past mm -hmm. sins. Mm -hmm. And we always we have to understand what God has done for us. Yes. And to really realize that He loved us, you mm -hmm. know, so mm -hmm. much that He gave His only begotten That's Son. Yes. Uh, that we may have salvation. So. Mm -hmm. The thing is, he loves us, and we have not loved him back in return, oh. let's face it. Mm -hmm. We've been ungrateful. Mm -hmm. We have, we have uh, taken everything for granted. Mm -hmm. We have not been uh, really repentance takes mm -hmm. in a lot. But there's a lot of scriptures on mm -hmm. it, but I'm just mm -hmm. giving you an overview yes. of how deep that sorrow would go, that mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. that you have offended your creator, yes. and you have not you have not walked in his ways, his ways. and you you may of your own self not be able to do that but with the holy spirit mm -hmm. you will be able to do that and that's mm -hmm. what we were talking about mm -hmm. but uh i'm going to say just the general we can yes. go to scripture but mm -hmm. generally mm -hmm. really hot felt sorrow, sorrow for what you have done mm -hmm. and and that you want to change mm -hmm. You about want to convert, how you live. and you want to change, and you want to go another way. Mm -hmm. You want to go God's way. way. Oh, okay. And so in order to know that, you have to know what sin is death, mm -hmm. and the gift of God, of God is eternal, eternal life. life. So, I mean, sin is stupid, really, when you think about <laughs> it, isn't it? Because well, sin, to sin is to, uh, there's a season of pleasure of uh, sin for a yes. season, mm -hmm. but sin, the ways of sin are death. death. The wages of sin, sin are death. death. Mm -hmm. 
but the gift is eternal life and we talk about the belief in Christ mm -hmm. and all the things that you have to go along mm -hmm. with it but repentance is first so repentance is key towards key. salvation so Joe what should we repent of what, what are they what should we repent of before we go into the fact that sin is a transgression of the law what must we repent of because we must repent of something if we're going to repent yes I know it's heartfelt sorrow but what led us to that heartfelt sorrow that no, we are going to have to repent? What is it? Well, Mama Jean touched on that. <clears throat> to answer the question verbatim, you asked what led us. Yes. Romans chapter 2, verse 4, mm -hmm. Paul says that it's the goodness of God that leads us to repentance. Mm -hmm. And in a former program, in one of our past programs, I know Brother Solomon, mm -hmm. uh, you keyed on the fact that unless the Father draws one, we can't come to Christ. Christ, uh, Christ said that. Except the, he said, "Except the Father draws you." Um, John six forty four. John six forty four. No one come 44. to the Father unless the, the no, no one come to me unless the Father who sent me draws exactly. him. Exactly. So it's 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 God's mm -hmm. drawing one mm -hmm. to be convicted of sin, as Mama Jean was talking about. Sin is it's the transgression of God's law, and sin our sins separate us from God, mm -hmm. and in fact He hides His face from us because oh, of our sins. sins. Isaiah okay. 59 verse 2 mm -hmm. says that, mm -hmm. that our iniquities have separated us from God and our sins have caused him to hide his face from us. So mm -hmm. we can't we can't be living in sin mm -hmm. and expect to have a, a relationship with the Creator. Mm -hmm. it, it actually sets up a wall of partition. Yes. And so the question is, again, and I, I mentioned in one of our past shows that you know when, when Adam and Eve were put out of the garden because they took of the fruit of the the tree of the knowledge of good and evil they sinned and they were put out so that they couldn't have access to the tree of life anymore mm -hmm. the whole gist now of the bible is that god is bringing mankind back to that garden sure. back to the tree of life if you will um and so mm -hmm. how does that process go yes and so scripturally Tell us. i think acts chapter 2 is a place is a good place to begin mm -hmm. acts chapter 2 verse 36 breaking in here this is the apostle peter teaching on the day of Pentecost um, in the year that our master or our, our Lord Jesus or Yeshua died here on the, the feast of Pentecost which again now I'll make the case that the disciples were, were gathered at this is the feast of Pentecost which means 50th but it's the feast of Shavuot really the Old Testament doesn't use the term Pentecost this is one of God's annual feasts it's mm -hmm. the pilgrimage feast where all the, the males had to come up to the place where God placed his name. So in Acts 2.36, Peter's saying, Therefore let all the house of Israel know with certainty that God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified. He's talking to his Jewish brethren of his day. Whom you crucified. He's made this Jesus both Lord and Messiah. Both Lord and Christ. So when they heard this, they came under deep conviction. They were convicted in their heart. And they said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Brothers, what must we do? Yes. Yeah. And in our last, our last show here, we addressed the question, what must we I do to be, be saved? saved? And so this is basically the same question. Mm -hmm. What must we do? And Peter's answer in Acts 2.38 is repent. Mm -hmm. That's where it all begins. Repent, yeah. Peter said to them, and be baptized, each of you in the name of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. for the forgiveness of your sins, yes. and you will receive the gift of the Holy That's Spirit. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're repenting of sin, or re repenting and accepting Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of our sins. Mm -hmm. But repentance means, repentance is a word that goes all the way back to the, the Tanakh, the mm -hmm. Hebrew Bible. And it's the Hebrew word shuv, mm -hmm. shuv. If you're Jewish or if you know anything about the Jewish religion, you'll hear the term teshuvah. Teshuvah means repentance. repentance. Okay, shuv is actually the word that means to mm -hmm. to return or to go back mm -hmm. to something. It's going back, and again, it's mm -hmm. going back to the the ancient, ancient paths, past. if you will. Okay. It's going back mm -hmm. to have a covenant relationship with the God of Israel, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and He laid down that covenant mm -hmm. in Exodus chapter twenty mm -hmm. through twenty through, through twenty three. Mm -hmm. He gave the Ten Commandments, then He gave. Mm -hmm. What uh, about Leviticus 23? Would that be a part of it? Those Leviticus 23 would certainly be a part of the, the mm -hmm. instructions that he's given. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So that's what okay. we're getting back to. Mm -hmm. um, and then the New Testament word for repentance is metanoia. Yes. Now, metanoia is a, 
It's a compound Greek word that's made up of two words. Mm -hmm. Meta, a meta can mean several different things. Sometimes mm -hmm. it means after. Okay. But meta, uh, uh, meta means, um, it means a change. Mm -hmm. It means a change, and noia is, is the mind. Mm -hmm. So it's a change of mind, <clears throat> but it's a profound change of mind, as repentance is mm -hmm. used in the Greek New Testament. It's a profound change of mind and change of heart that leads to a transformed life is what is what repentance comes down to in the Greek New Testament. But it's that return, the Hebrew concept of returning and going back mm -hmm. to something mm -hmm. that I think we need to keep in mind. Okay. So you are saying that true repentance is a transformation of the mind. Be transformed, as, as Paul said, be transformed. Be, let this mind be in you as it is in Christ Jesus. Let, be, um, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So true repentance then, you're saying, comes with this transformation of mind. Yes. Yes. But as I said, and I, I'll use this word again, it's a profound, mm -hmm. yes. deep. It's more deep. than just a change, change of mind, mind in the sense that um, I'm going to turn here real quickly to 2 Corinthians chapter 7. 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 9 and 10. And Paul says here, I'm going to pull up the King James Bible um, because I know many people use that particular version. King James Bible in 2 Corinthians 7, verse 9 and 10 says, this is Paul saying, he says, Now I rejoice, not that you were made sorry, but that your sorrow, but that you sorrowed to repentance. In other words, the sorrow that you felt in your heart led you to repentance. For you were made sorry after a godly manner, that you might receive damage by us in nothing. Now, mm -hmm. Paul's talking to a church here in Corinth that had a lot of internal problems. Yes. A lot of internal <laughs> sin problems. Problems. Where yes. in chapter 5, for instance, there was a man who was having sexual Six relations his with his father's, father's wife. wife. Um, Seems like his father liked the idea. In any case, now, now. Now, Paul's mentioning. <laughs> he, didn't, he wasn't upset about it. <laughs> Paul's mentioned, Paul came on strong with that. And he said it led to a godly repentance. Okay? However, verse 10, mm -hmm. 2 Corinthians 7, he says, That's For godly one. sorrow works repentance, repentance to salvation, right. not, to re not to be repented of. In right. other words, when you truly repent, mm -hmm. it leads to salvation. You don't have to change again. You don't have to repent of that. Mm -hmm. But the sorrow of the world works death. Mm -hmm. So the sorrow of the world, the point I want to make is this change of mind and change of heart. Mm -hmm. I can have a change of mind, for instance, if I break man's law yes. and I get caught. And many people do. Yes. They get caught. Maybe they get caught cheating on their wife or cheating on their spouse. A wife cheats mm -hmm. on her husband. Mm -hmm. And they get caught. Mm -hmm. And they have sorrow. Why? Because they, got, they got caught. caught. <laughs> yes. Right? Is it true sorrow? Do they really, are they sorrow they to the point guilty. they really want to change the action? Yes. Or yes. they just don't want to receive the penalty? The penalty. Yes. You know, so there is, it's a, it's a profound change of mind, mind and heart, heart that leads to a transformed yes. life, a life going back to the ancient ways of mm -hmm. walking in covenant with the eternal so, God of Israel. You quoted um, Acts 2 and talks about when the Spirit on the day of Pentecost came on the believers. Uh, Joe, yes, uh, they did not know, some of them could be even a part of the witness of Jesus' death probably a few of them would have been shouting about Jesus and him being crucified. So they were shouting Jesus being crucified. Paul, um, Paul said, Peter, Peter said, um, when he has um, given this sermon and they ask with a guilt to conscience, what must we do to be saved? What must we repent of? And Peter said, believe in the name of Jesus Christ. Could these individual, um, Joe, observing seeing it's at the Pente seeing it's a feast of Pentecost could they also be following um, other laws and festivals that God have um, that they were already keeping and know the repentance is not about the works that goes with your faith to lead it to salvation but more the repentance of believing Jesus So which I'm is it? Which you, is it? Which is I'm it? I'm going to ask which you to clarify it? the question because I'm not sure exactly what you're asking me. Mm -hmm. So I'm asking you, which is it? it is, is it repentance of the oh. works about salvation or is it just the repentance of believing in Jesus oh. according to this Acts um, 2 you just read? 
it's repenting, uh, I believe in context, it's talking about repenting of sin. Mm -hmm. right. It's repenting of sin, mm -hmm. and you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. the one who the Father sent, mm -hmm. the one who is the Savior of all mankind. Yes. That's the point Peter's trying to get mm -hmm. across to these Jews, that you killed him. Yes. You people kill him. In fact, we all killed Christ, Christ. if we really want to look at it seriously, brothers yeah. and sisters. Mm -hmm. We all killed Christ because mm -hmm. of our sin. sin. The so Jews we crucify Peter's, him afresh whenever we sin and transgress the law, you're saying? That's correct. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Jews of Peter's day actually carried out the act mm -hmm. by bringing him to Pontius Pilate. Yes. They didn't want to get their hands dirty, so to mm -hmm. speak, mm -hmm. because Passover was on, it was the time of Passover. Yes. And if, if the Jews had impaled Christ, mm -hmm. someone would have had to take his body down. Cross. Someone touching a dead body would have been... According uh, to the Jewish law, became laws, unclean clean, and not yes. able to eat the Passover. So they mm -hmm. basically enlisted the help of Rome. Mm -hmm. And Pontius Pilate said five times in the Gospels over yes. the course of about a four hour period, mm -hmm. I find no fault Fault's in this in man. Mm -hmm. I'm going to release him. And the so Jews said, no, 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 no. Let his blood be upon us and on our mm -hmm. children, according to the Greek New Testament. Mm -hmm. That's what it says. Now, mm -hmm. some folks out there may not agree with that, but that's mm -hmm. what the Greek New Testament says. And, and thus. Pilate ultimately, when they appealed and said, um, you're no friend of Caesar. Yes. <laughs> Pilate <laughs> probably feared for guilty. his job. I don't want yeah. Caesar to catch wind of this, so I'll just go ahead and put this man to death and give him what they want. Yes. So the Romans carried it out, but the Jews were the ones that were Approach chanting, him. crucify him, crucify him. him. And so Peter is explaining to these, these Jewish people that mm -hmm. you all killed him, so yes. to speak. So they were perpetrated off his But death. he was the one that the Father sent, so yeah. you need mm -hmm. to accept him. Mm -hmm. You need to mm -hmm. repent. Mm -hmm. And come under his saving yes, grace. grace. Mm -hmm. So the qu so so what is percolating in my mind is what is sin? Because you keep mentioning sin, sin. Is sin just the Ten Commandments? What is sin that we should be re so repentive of? What is the scripture said? Sin is a transgression of the law. What what is this law that we um, individual transgress? Um, what is it? What is sin? Sin is as you just you quoted. First John chapter 3 and verse 4, where the Apostle John wrote that sin is lawlessness, is what it really says mm -hmm. in the, the literal Greek. Mm -hmm. King James Version would say sin is the transgression of the law. Mm -hmm. uh, the Greek word for law is uh, namas. Mm -hmm. Don't say nomos. Namas is the Greek word for, for law. Coming from the Hebrew word mm -hmm. Torah, mm -hmm. Torah, Torah. Torah is a Hebrew word that is translated into English quite often as law. Mm -hmm. A better translation of Torah is instructions, our oh, instructions. Okay. So the law, mm -hmm. transgressing the law or lawlessness, is not following the instructions, so, basically. Instructions. So, so what you're asking, what do we yes. need to repent yes. of? We need to repent of mm -hmm. not following the instructions of the Creator, yes. and we need to go back and begin striving to learn what the instructions mm -hmm. of the Creator are mm -hmm. and walking in accordance with those instructions. Suppose I am hearing you talking about that, and you said sin is a transgression of the law, and then you said it is instructions. What would be the instructions that I would have to follow in order to gain this repentance, or to be repentive and to be sorrowful? We have to go back to the Hebrew Bible, mm -hmm. what, what we know of mm -hmm. in modern-day America as the Old Testament, Testament. in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Old Testament consists of three things. It's, it's called, there's, a, there's a, uh, an, an acronym mm -hmm. that is used in, in, in Jewish communities, Tanakh. Mm -hmm. Tanakh. Mm -hmm. The T-A is for Torah, which are instructions and or law. Mm -hmm. um, the the N-A comes from Nebaim, mm -hmm. which are the prophets. Mm -hmm. And the K, the K part, mm -hmm. the K sound Nine is the Ketuvim. <laughs> <laughs> the Ketuvim are the writings. Mm -hmm, the Ketuvim. Mm -hmm. So it's the, the instructions, mm -hmm. the prophets, okay. and, and the, the writings. Okay. That's the whole of the Tanakh. We mm -hmm. have it in 39 separate books. books. Mm -hmm. Okay? In, in Hebrew uh, construct, it's 22 books. But in mm -hmm. any case, we need to go back to that. Yes. Because remember, in the days of Christ and mm -hmm. the apostles, mm -hmm. the only Bible, when Christ said the scriptures the scripture. talk about me, he's mm -hmm. talking about the Old Testament. He's not mm -hmm. talking about the writings of the Apostle yes. Paul. Mm -hmm. He's not talking not about the Gospels. He's not yes. talking about any other New Testament writings. He referred to the law. Now, I believe the, the New Testament writings mm -hmm. have merit. Please yes. don't get me wrong. Okay. But to find out mm -hmm. what the instructions of the Creator are, mm -hmm. we need to go back to the Tanakh and begin reading. So, so Mama G, we're going back to the Tanakh. 
Okay. What are they? What 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 should we repent of? What are okay, the sins well, that we should? Okay, well, you know, yes. uh, Jesus said in Matthew mm -hmm. twenty-two, thirty-seven, mm -hmm. and forty uh, through forty, it says Jesus said to him, um, this lawyer had come to him with a question and said, "Teacher, which is the great which, which is, the is the great thing? commandment yeah. of, okay. in the law?" Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, "You shall love the Lord your God mm -hmm. with well, all your yeah. heart, with all your soul, and with mm -hmm. all your might." This is the first and great commandment. Mm -hmm. And the second is like it. Yes. You shall love the, your neighbor as yourself. Mm -hmm. On these two commandments, mm -hmm. which really picture the first four of the Ten Commandments mm -hmm. and the last six of the mm -hmm. Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. Love to God, the first four. Love to men, mm -hmm. the six. Mm -hmm. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets, like Joe had said. Mm -hmm. um, but you were talking about the what repentance. is in the Tanakh that we what must repent it? of, which is the transgression of the law. It's the yes. transgression of the law. That yes. is so important. Mm -hmm. Christ said he did not come to destroy the law of the prophets. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so um, that's very, very important. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's another key here. Yes. With, in, to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, it says in Scripture that he was mm -hmm. the Lamb of God. Yes, that takes God away sacrificed the sins of the world. his son. Mm -hmm. He was the God of the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Here he is coming on the scene. Mm -hmm. He was the word. Mm -hmm. And look what the people did, what we him. did, mm -hmm. and how we took that of no value. Mm -hmm. When we think about what he gave yes. for us and mm -hmm. the love he had for us, mm -hmm. that's pretty powerful. It's, we it's should be repentant mm -hmm. of that when mm -hmm. we don't take the seriousness mm -hmm. of belief in Jesus Christ because mm -hmm. no one, can come to the Father except, except through Jesus Christ. Christ. There's mm -hmm. no other name under heaven. heaven that you will so be saved. That you will be saved. So mm -hmm. this is serious. Yes. So it's not just being a good person mm -hmm. and we're all happy here. And we're eating you can, chocolate Yeah, candy. we're all good. <laughs> and you say, oh, well, Jesus is a nice guy. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Jesus is God. He's not just a nice, nice guy. guy yeah. And he came and mm -hmm. he gave of himself. Mm -hmm. That is something to be sorry Stir for. for. Mm -hmm. If your attitude is different, mm -hmm. then may the Lord give you the mm -hmm. gift of, of discernment and repentance. So that you can mm -hmm. understand that mm -hmm. because that is starts the whole plan of salvation. salvation. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Mama G talks about salvation, Joe. In order for us to receive the salvation, um, what in the Old... Uh, is it Tanakh or the Tanakh Old Testament? Or Old Testament. Or Old Testament. What would be the Old oh. Testament officially that we need to come to, come to a realization of to repent? Uh, what Mama Jean quoted here, mm -hmm. the words of, of Yeshua, or Jesus here in Matthew 22. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, I pointed, pointed us back to the, mm -hmm. the former testament, if you will. Mm -hmm. These commandments, mm -hmm. love, love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and your mind, that comes from Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 5. Mm -hmm. And love your neighbor as yourself, that comes from Leviticus 19 and verse 18. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... I mean, that's a good place to start. And what, what is the called the, the Torah, what's known as the Torah, the, the writings of Moses, as most Bible believers believe Moses wrote the first five books of the Bible. I understand uh, for those scholars out there that some folks believe in what's called a documentary hypothesis, hypothesis, and they don't believe Moses wrote the first five books, but that they were written by various writers over the course of time. In any case, it's believed by most that Moses wrote those books. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The laws that the Creator gave mm -hmm. to Moses and yes. gave to the patriarchs yes. are what we need to get back to. Mm -hmm. This points us, mm -hmm. as, as Mama Jean said, love towards God mm -hmm. are summed up in the first mm -hmm. four commandments. Mm -hmm. Well, the first four commandments, I should say, are summed up in the statement, right. love towards God. Mm -hmm. And the last six of the Ten Commandments are summed up in love towards our neighbor. Mm -hmm. The Ten Commandments, the Ten Words, as the Hebrew Bible calls them, are the only things that were written on the two tablets of stone that the God of Israel, the Creator, wrote with his very finger, the two tablets of stone, and presented them to Moses. Mm -hmm. And Moses broke those first mm -hmm. two when the Israelites, um, with the golden calf incident there mm -hmm. in Exodus chapter mm -hmm. 32. But that is the covenant. What was written on those two stone tablets, the Hebrew Bible tells us, the Torah tells us, were the ten words alone. That alone was placed into the Ark of the Covenant. Mm -hmm. What's in that ark, the ark of the covenant, simply means the box of the covenant. covenant yes. What's in the box, mm -hmm. what's in the ark, is the covenant. Mm -hmm. What was in the box is the ten words. Ten words. Period. Mm -hmm. Period. 
-hmm. So those are the basis of all of the law that we need to obey. The Ten Commandments. I'm not going to say it's the only instructions of the no, Creator, more. but those are the basis. Mm -hmm. If we are looking for a starting point, we're mm -hmm. starting with those those so, ten. So what would be? Um, sorry. So if I believe, in the name, let us go to the the text that is really um, Exodus 20. So I want, I want to look at something. So it said, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. So it's not we that out of the land of Savior. You shall have no other gods before me. And I am saying now as a good Protestant, I have no other God before God. You shall not take, you shall not make yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven, above her, and so on and so forth. Um, you should worship them, neither worship them. For I am the Lord your God, and I am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sins of their fathers to the third and fourth generation of those who love, uh, who hate, of those who hate me. But I show love to a thousand generation of those who love me and keep my commandments. So it's saying I keep it. What commandments is he talking about here? Is it just the commandments that are, we are reading here, which is the Ten Commandments? What other commandments? Is he talking about that we should um, obey him to, in order to get his love so that we can have, so that we can come to true repentance? Well, now I'm you're... picking at your bones. Oh, no, I, I like it. <laughs> I like the fact that you're picking at my bones. This word, keep my commandments, mm -hmm. the, the word for commandments here in Hebrew is mitzvot. Yes. A mitzvah, a mitzvot. Mm -hmm. Mitzvot is the plural. It's commandments. A mitzvah mm -hmm. would be commandment. Mm -hmm. So here at Exodus chapter 20, the Israelites are at Mount Sinai. Yes. So... If he's talking about those who love me and keep my mitzvot, my commandments, commandments yes. they were commandments that preceded Mount Sinai. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Most mm -hmm. professed Christians mm -hmm. in this world will say that the law came in, At they Mount call Sinai. it the Mosaic Law, mm -hmm. that it's coming into force and effect here under Moses, mm -hmm. and that upon the death of Christ, it's all done away. Well, there were commandments that preceded Moses. Mm -hmm. um, if we go back to, for instance, Genesis chapter 26 comes mm -hmm. to mind. Genesis chapter 26, the one who is called the father of the faithful, mm -hmm. um, the patriarch of Ram, whose name was changed to Abraham. Abraham. Yes. In Genesis 26 and verse 5, this is actually Abraham's son Isaac um, that is talking to, to Yahweh here, or Jehovah, the, the, the Lord of the Old Testament. In Genesis 26, 2, it says, the Lord appeared to him. And this, again, is, is it's Isaac. It's Abraham's son. And so this is God speaking to Isaac. And in, in Genesis 26, verse 5, it says, Because that Abraham obeyed my voice mm -hmm. and kept my charge, my commandments, mm -hmm. my statutes, and my, laws. and my laws. So it seems like there's a lot more because it's statutes, commandments, and all laws. The time. That were in effect in the time of Abraham. Yes. Long now, what were Mosina some of the laws? Yes. This will open a can of worms, my brother <laughs> Solomon. <laughs> my brother Solomon. And, and people listening. What were some of the laws that, yes. that God gave uh, Abram yeah, or Abraham? Abraham. Mm -hmm. Well, in Genesis chapter 12, he says, he mm -hmm. called Abram out of, Avram out of his, his native land, or the Chaldees. Mm -hmm. He says, leave your father's house mm -hmm. and go to a land that I will show you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Avram gets up and he goes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Genesis 17. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and all along, now, Genesis 12 and in Genesis 15, mm -hmm. he enters into covenant. Well, mm -hmm. he, he doesn't enter into covenant, but uh, Avram has this, uh, he offered some sacrifices, and, mm -hmm. and he was told that in you shall all the nations mm -hmm. of the earth be blessed, and in your, descend in your descendants shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Mm -hmm. Genesis 17, we come to a covenant agreement between the God of Israel and Avram. What is that covenant based on? Yes. Circumcision. circumcision. All right. And circumcision That's is dead. That's a commandment. Well, yeah. you say it's dead. I don't say it's dead. <laughs> we disagree on that, my dear brother. All right. We do. Um, that's a commandment yeah. that should be mm -hmm. obeyed. Okay. Some of y'all might, some of you folks that are listening may agree, may disagree. It's a mm -hmm. commandment of the eternal God. Yes. Some say baptism replaced circumcision. Mm -hmm. I don't see that. All right. I don't see that law being mm -hmm. replaced or abrogated mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. all. Circumcision must be followed. I, I, I believe that. All right. Now, mm -hmm. I'm not going to beat somebody down with that. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to beat somebody down. But you asked me the question. circumcised by the heart. You asked me the question, yes. what are these commandments that yes. preceded Sinai All right. that so need that's to be kept? And I'm just, I'm just walking through All and right. trying to find some of these commandments. All right. So that's a few. Yes. Continue. 
So in any case, here in Genesis 26, 5, he says, um, Abraham kept my commandments, my mitzvot, my statute, chukot. Now, mm -hmm. a statute is a, it's um, kind of like in mankind's law today. Mm -hmm. If they give you a speed limit of 55 miles an hour, that's okay. a statute. statute. Oh, okay. It's If I'm going 55 miles an hour, mm -hmm. I'm going to say I don't necessarily hurt anybody else by doing that. I could mm -hmm. if I'm driving recklessly or doing 100 miles an hour in a 55. Mm -hmm. You could be reckless, and it could cause the harm of someone, and that's why man mm -hmm. puts these laws there. But that's a statute. Yes. Um, For protection of man. It's a protection of man, but it doesn't mm -hmm. really harm anybody unless and until I get into a, an accident and hurt someone. Mm -hmm. If I was to steal something that belonged to you, that's a crime. Right. Mm -hmm. um, that okay. is a law... Mm -hmm. That, that, that would be a law as opposed to a statute. statute. A statute is something that mm -hmm. it keeps like civil peace and keeps keep civil, civil order. order in society. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But there were statutes, mm -hmm. uh, chukot, mm -hmm. in, of Abraham's day at least, and mm -hmm. my laws, my Torah, mm -hmm. my instructions. Yes. So the Torah didn't only come in under Moses. There were Torah, mm -hmm. there was Torah, mm -hmm. or Before. instructions prior to Moses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which, again, are they... Applicable to us today? Are they not? That's why There's the people certainly want instructions. To know. There are instructions that we'll see mm -hmm. that were given to Moses, for instance, about the Levitical priesthood. Well, we don't have a Levitical doesn't pertain to you anymore. And I. Yeah. It doesn't pertain to you so and we I because that we're not under the Levitical, Levitical priesthood. priesthood. Yeah, There's been a change in the priesthood. That's clear. There's no temple. And we're not Levitical priests. There are some laws that pertain to women. Yes, unclean. That don't, and uh, going out don't pertain to men. Yeah. There are some laws that pertain to men that don't pertain, pertain to women. So we have to search the scriptures. What are these laws, what commandments, these laws? and statutes? Yes. All right. So we continue to search. And we certainly search. We're going to bring new things to you that you have never heard before. Things that will shock your mind. And that's what we do on Let's Talk Bible. We, we open your mind to the scriptures, to the Torah, to the word of God, so that you can have a deep understanding of what God is talking to us about when we come to our repentance. So, Mama G, we need to repent. Mm -hmm. The Torah said, Joe just went through um, specific things about the law um, that he talked about, the commandments. You mentioned uh, the fourth commandment. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuse his name. You said that early. Remember the Sabbath day in Sabbath day to keep it holy. I'm asking you, Joe. Can we see that it? We see here um, that remember the Sabbath day. In this remembering of the Sabbath day, holy, which is Saturday, I. I have to say, Saturday, um, in this observation of the Sabbath and Saturday, are there other Sabbath that is combined in this very day that are a part of the commandment that God is talking about here in um, Exodus 20? Well, literally in Exodus 20, the answer is no. Mm -hmm. There aren't other Sabbaths. Yes. In Exodus 20, it says, remember the, the Sabbath, Sabbath. day. Mm -hmm. And I want to make the point. Mm -hmm. Again, here at Mount Sinai, mm -hmm. God, the God of Israel is telling Moses and mm -hmm. telling the Israelites, I should yes. say, because he's speaking in the hearing of all Israel here, mm -hmm. remember the Sabbath Yes. to keep it holy. Mm -hmm. He's not giving them the Sabbath. He's saying remember, remember it. It had already been given. Okay. Where, and when, where and when was it given? Yes. So we are. Yes. So we are. Yeah. Yeah. In Genesis chapter mm -hmm. two. But the Sabbath was for man. 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 God gave the man the Sabbath. So why do we have to repent of the Sabbath? The Sabbath was given to, um, given to some people. It didn't give to everybody. Remember, was, because people yeah. forget. Yeah. But Sabbath is not for everybody. Sabbath is just was made because Abraham Adam was there. So God just give Adam something to hold. Anton, say use this. Well, if you want to get... But since we have gone so far in history, we don't need to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm just being troubled by some. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, well, I know, I know you're, what you're doing yes, is probably. playing... Um, we just, we just I said don't like those, that word those, the, that the law is transgression. I think the and audience we're know, the ten know what, mm -hmm. commandments. Yes. And then you're saying, well, we can play multiple choice. choices. Yes. So we could pick and choose, choose. which one. A, B, R, C, and maybe we could take it. We could do nine and leave the uh, that one out that you mm -hmm. talked about. Mm -hmm. We could do that. We could do whatever we want. Mm -hmm. But we have, thank God for freedom of choice. But, yeah, but if yeah. we want to obey God, I want to true We repentance. have to keep the commandments. Mm -hmm. 
What Simple. are the commandments? Mm-hmm. We talked about them. Yes. Um, and Joey, you said there were commandments prior to. Mm-hmm. And then when we get into the New Testament, mm-hmm. Jesus Christ magnifies the, that law. Have, and mm-hmm. he makes it even more binding. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. So that what covers that law is love. Because love. Mm-hmm. love causes no harm to its neighbor. So if you are loving your neighbor, you will not be committing one of those six breaking of those commandments, right? How could you? And love your neighbor, right? Mm -hmm. However, Mm -hmm. what we forget so much is the first four. I was brought up a Catholic. Okay. Okay. Mother Mary taught you well. No, what I'm saying is that I don't, I know that we, now this is, we're getting deep now, right? Yes, we need to get deep. We're getting, okay. I was taught um, I don't know if I was taught that statues were wrong. Mm-hmm. They were all around us. Mm-hmm. I had a girlfriend that used to make um, uh, designer religious jewelry. Okay. She made one bracelet of Ten Commandments mm-hmm. for the Christians. It's a good one. And mm-hmm. she made one a bracelet commandments for Roman Catholics. Mm-hmm. And I said, why? But when you look back, they seem to have jumped over the Second Commandment. Mm-hmm in their Catholicism Mm -hmm. and split the last Mm -hmm. nine and ten to thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife Mm -hmm. and thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's good. We already took care of that with adultery, didn't we? Yes. So so we are not to add to the word. Uh, There's a scripture that says that and detract and take take away away from the word. So we can't pick and choose days. Mm -hmm. God does that. We Mm -hmm. can't pick and choose commandments. So, one, so, but, so mm-hmm. what I'm saying is yes. that sometimes we have been taught a certain way. Mm-hmm. I was taught a certain way. Yes. I had to mm-hmm. repent of that and change. Mm-hmm. So you are saying that if we were taught a particular way and we believe at one time that this is so and we now understand the true gospel of Jesus Christ and we understand true repentance, you are saying that we must leave those traditional teachings yeah, and now come to the true teachings of Jesus Christ. But in this in this segment, Joe, I want to provoke your mind because I I'm thinking about he likes those. To provoke you. I, <laughs> I, 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 I'm Joe's thinking, up to it. He's oh, okay. I'm thinking okay. about those who sitting down listening to us and hearing us yeah. talking about law and repentance and say that sin we say it's sin is a transgression under the law, but they have scriptures that they want answers to when it can pertain into the law and Colossians two sixteen certainly would put an end to what you are saying, Joe. This would be now the nail in your coffin. It says, Colossians 2, 16, Therefore, do not let anyone judge you by whatever you eat or drink or regard to a religious festival, a new moon, a celebration, or a Sabbath. Therefore, there are shadows of things to come. All these things you are talking about, Sabbath and holidays, are just shadows of things to come. Yes, there are shadows, Joe. So why making, why telling me now that I have to repent of these shadows when it's a shadow? It's not real. It's not real. My shadow is not real. I am real. My shadow is a shadow. But you have to be real to cast a shadow. That's another right? point. <laughs> well, I'll start off by saying, mm-hmm. obviously we have the example of Christ when yes. he lived, he kept the Sabbath. Yes. <clears throat> I know the argument against that is going to be, yeah, he did because mm-hmm. he was... The law was in, a force, in force and effect until he died. Mm-hmm. We see Paul in the book of Acts keeping Sabbath. In Acts mm-hmm. chapter 13, he goes mm-hmm. to, um, oh, he's up in Asia it, it, Minor. I forget uh, exactly Ephesus where he was in Acts chapter Asia. 13, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, preaching to Gentiles on the Sabbath. Um, mm-hmm. We see in Acts 17, verse 2. If you want to turn there, Solomon. Mm-hmm. Paul, as his custom was, kept the Sabbath. The Sabbath. Certainly, again, the, the argument's going to be mm-hmm. it was his cu- custom because yeah. he was raised a Pharisee. Yeah, but they would Jewish. say that oh, he just went into the synagogue to convert those Jews to Sunday. And I've heard the arguments. Yes. All right, we'll get back to Colossians 2.16 in mm-hmm. context. Mm-hmm. Colossae is a city mm-hmm. in Asia Minor. Yes. This was a city that certainly there were some Jews living there. There's no doubt. Yes. Okay, there's some Jews mm-hmm. living in Asia Minor. There were Jews all over the area. Mm-hmm. However, this is a primarily Gentile city. city. Okay. Okay, the Jews of Colossae were mm-hmm. Jews. Mm-hmm. They didn't accept 
the sacrifice of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Paul's going there to establish mm -hmm. congregations mm -hmm. or churches, if you will. Okay? The very fact that Paul is saying, therefore, don't let anyone judge you mm -hmm. in regard to food and drink they or eating, eating and it. drinking, oh, okay. what you're eating and drinking, or mm -hmm. in a matter of a festival, a new moon, mm -hmm. or Sabbaths. Yes. They were keeping them. They were keeping these days. That's what oh, they were being judged oh, about by, by mm -hmm. the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. right. You see, Jews don't want Gentiles, mm -hmm. by nature, mm -hmm. keeping the days they keep. Oh, okay. The Jewish religion is a very exclusive, exclusive religion. religion. Yeah. Okay? That's why... In their um, Talmud, mm -hmm. or the Mishnah, which are the, the, the oral Torah, the oral traditions, traditions. of the elders, that mm -hmm. Christ mm -hmm. actually pointed the finger at the Pharisees about, he said, you teach his doctors the commandments of men, mm -hmm. and you make the commandments of God of no effect by your tradition. Mm -hmm. They were putting their oral traditions above, above the, the law of the Creator. They think they have the right to do so, just like... Mm -hmm. In Catholicism, with Roman so Catholicism, is, is the Pope has the right is a, to is supersede the Bible. God. Exactly. Peter. Who changed Sabbath? So these Jews, it's mm -hmm. not like these are Jews mm -hmm. saying to Gentiles, mm -hmm. you need to keep these festivals and the oh. Sabbath. Mm -hmm. They're not saying that. Mm -hmm. This is not the same as what's going on in the book of Galatians. Oh, okay. The book of Galatians does have an issue with people that Paul termed Judaizers. So, mm -hmm. Those were Jews who were telling mm -hmm. the Christian Christians. folks, folks mm -hmm. who are coming Into to Messiah, mm -hmm. that you need to convert to Judaism mm -hmm. first, become mm -hmm. like us before you can follow the Jewish Messiah. Mm -hmm. But in context of Galatians, and I know I'm getting off topic here, and I'm mm -hmm. going to come and back, bring it back, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is they were saying you need to keep the oral traditions of the elders, mm -hmm. like we do, before you can worship the Jewish Messiah. So mm -hmm. it's not talking about obedience to the law of God. Mm -hmm. Here in Colossae, though, mm -hmm. these folks are being judged for keeping, keeping these days. days. Okay. They're mm -hmm. being pointed a finger at because they're keeping these very days. So I disagree with that argument by those who say the law has been done away. Right. And they make mm -hmm. the case that these were Jews, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, they're saying that it doesn't matter what you do. That these people are being judged Church. because they were being told you should mm -hmm. be keeping these days oh, okay. by the Jews. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Paul's okay. saying, no, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. That's the wrong. It's it's, it's a it's wrong interpretation, the wrong, wrong eyes exactly. of Jesus of exactly. the scripture. So you are Without saying that it is yeah. somebody looking in judging them, and Paul is saying. Let no one judge be comfortable. You. Let no one judge you. Don't consider their judgment. Exactly. But don't consider their judgment of what a judgment of what you do regarding the Sabbath and holiday. So you are saying that the early New Testament church observed the Sabbath, yeah. observed the holy days, um, Passover, Pentecost, trumpets, and the Feast of Tabernacle. This was what um, the secular people were judging, or the Jews were judging the. Christian of Christ about. And this is what you're saying, that they should repent. Those who are not observing these things should repent of. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. In the context here, it doesn't say a word about repentance, but, but mm -hmm. in this context, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. Yes, Mama G. Well, what Joe was talking about, you know, the Jews and the Gentile, different mindset here. Um, we'll, when you come to Jesus, you have mm -hmm. to grow in grace and knowledge. Uh, there were some of the traditions, Jewish traditions, that were irrelevant at the time. Christ was teaching and magnifying. He didn't do away with the law. But here's something in Acts um, 13, 44. It says, uh, on the next Sabbath, almost the whole city came together to hear the word of God. But when the Jews saw the multitudes, they were filled with envy. Okay. And contradicting and blaspheming, mm -hmm. they opposed the things spoken by Paul. Mm -hmm. Then Paul and Barnabas grew bold and said, It was necessary mm -hmm. that the word of God would be spoken to you first. first. Yes. Romans 9. But mm -hmm. since you rejected it, it yes. and judged yourself unworthy... Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. to receive everlasting life. Mm -hmm. Jesus came to his own first. He wanted them to have everlasting life. Mm -hmm. They were the chosen. Yes. They rejected, mm -hmm. and they, they considered it unworthy to have everlasting mm -hmm. life. They didn't believe in the resurrection, mm -hmm. right? Yes, they didn't. Mm -hmm. Behold, we turn to the Gentiles. Gentiles. Mm -hmm. So that's where we go. Banquet. 
Mm-hmm. And now you have the Gentiles that are coming in with a lot of pagan beliefs, <laughs> a lot of other things. See, yeah. The Jews had the law. They had the right way. Mm-hmm. But it's a matter of the heart. Yeah. But the bottom line is, mm-hmm. is that Jesus Christ is offering eternal life. Mm-hmm. He's offering the resurrection. Mm-hmm. Um, if in this life, mm-hmm. you know, only, what are we? Pitiful, Pitiful. right? There's nothing else? Can, can we really That's reject all true repentance? Can, can, we reject? can one repent to repent? Can one reject repentance? True repentance. I'm not saying because you are making the point that um, when those persons who outside of the of of the faith of Jesus Christ repent, that is not true repentance. So I'm asking, can somebody really reject repentance? Uh, I'm so not like sure the what sea, you mean. So they, sure, so, all right. I know. So, I think so I know what you're So they saying. are seeing what we are seeing week after week. They see, we talk about the Sabbath and holy days, as Mama G just talked about, the holy days and so on. Can someone now understand these things? Read Leviticus 23. Read the very events of Paul in Acts, right? Can someone see these things and reject the repentance of God? Well, I'm not sure what you mean by reject the repentance of God, because repentance right. isn't... I think it's, I know what it's it means. It's something that one is convicted of sin and then mm-hmm. they repent. So mm-hmm. I'm not That's sure. That's what I mean. Is that so if God can is somebody, moving, can they be convicted of what Jesus Christ's teaching is and reject that teaching so that they don't re- and, and reject repentance? Well, sure they I can. believe. Oh, okay. Sure well, it can. says it's a gift. Mm-hmm. But I can I can give you a gift and you can refuse it. it. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. Because you're not going to like, God desire all to come to a knowledge yes. of the truth. But that desire in itself does not mean that somebody, although God desires that all, all men. should repent, it does yeah. not mean that everyone will repent. Is that the point you're making? Yes. I mean, now you open up another uh, avenue a different here. Different topic, yeah. but um, that's okay. As far as, is this the only day of salvation? And no, is God even affording repentance to right. all at this time? Mm-hmm. And I don't believe that he is. He's, all right. He's not this trying to call the whole world into salvation at this time. Plan. He's only calling mm-hmm. a group of first fruits. Yes. But ultimately, he mm-hmm. will yes. afford the opportunity to everyone, mm-hmm. Jew everyone. and Gentile. He's everyone. not forsaking the Jewish people or the people no. of Israel. Mm-hmm. Never. He's not. No. They forsook Yeshua mm-hmm. or Jesus, but, he's not right. but they're not out of the plan. No. Mm-hmm. They're definitely not out of the plan. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Everyone who's ever lived and died will be afforded the opportunity. Now, Paul, mm-hmm. you know, I, I, we're in Acts. I just came over here to Acts 26, verse 20. Here, Paul's on, on trial before King Agrippa, and he tells mm-hmm. Agrippa. Mm-hmm. Yes, I like that story. He's relating what happened on his road to Damascus and when he was converted. Mm-hmm. And he tells Agrippa in 26, Acts 26, 19, Therefore, King Agrippa, I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision. Mm-hmm. Uh, instead, I preached to those in Damascus first because he was on the road to Damascus when he was called. So first thing I did when I received my sight again, I preached to those in Damascus, Damascus first mm-hmm. and to those in Jerusalem and all the region of Judea mm-hmm. and to the Gentiles Yes, that they should repent and turn to God mm-hmm. and do works worthy of repentance. Mm-hmm. This is not a new concept, doing works worthy of repentance. John the Baptist came preaching the mm-hmm. same. Mm-hmm. He said, do works worthy of repentance. repentance. So people can have dead works? Exactly. Well, people can have a dead repentance, in other okay. words. Mm-hmm. I could sit here, Solomon, and tell you, and I can look into this camera and say, people, I've repented. Yes. But if I don't show my repentance mm-hmm. by my actions, by the way I live my life, it's... It's, 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 it, oh, it is hot, hot air that I'm blowing. Oh, okay. So he says, do works worthy of repentance. In other words, show by your fruits, mm-hmm. the fruit of your life, the way you yes. live your life, mm-hmm. that you have indeed repented, and now you're striving to walk in covenant with God and produce the fruit mm-hmm. of the Holy Spirit. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. As opposed to producing the works fruit. of the flesh, mm-hmm. which come so mm-hmm. naturally mm-hmm. to our carnal, fleshly minds. True, true, true. So... So one then is that some works are dead and does not lead to repentance. Question and answer, true or false? Yes. yes. So true repentance is the belief in Jesus Christ and observation of his commandments, statutes, and laws. Yes, true repentance is going to bring, again, like where we began, Obedience. that profound change of mind and heart that will become mm-hmm. evident mm-hmm. in a transformed life. Okay, so one, so it's not about, so, so I can be convicted by what Jesus said, but that does not mean that, that does not mean true repentance. 
So like you the, are correct in saying that. Just like the um the the rich young rich ruler. He yes. was convicted what Jesus said, but he walked away. He wasn't um um convert. So conversion. How how does conversion works in re order, in regard to repentance? Well, conversion is an ongoing process. Mm -hmm. Conversion is not something. And again, we we've, we've mentioned this in a previous program. Mm -hmm that some can pick and choose verses out of scripture and pull it out of context mm -hmm. and, and some will come to the conclusion that all they have to do is sit there and utter sayings, mm -hmm. uh, saying, I accept the Lord mm -hmm. and I'm saved. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, not that, that simple. simple. Oh, Conversion yeah. is an ongoing process of, again, mm -hmm. showing by the way we live our lives in a mm -hmm. changed way, walking mm -hmm. in covenant with God and with his instructions mm -hmm. that we have indeed, or we are indeed in the process of being converted. Mm -hmm. We, again, show forth, the fruits. show our works worthy of repentance. Mm -hmm. We show by the way, way we live our lives. Mm -hmm. And so if one ceases to mm -hmm. walk in that conversion process and goes back mm -hmm. to his former ways, his or her former ways mm -hmm. of the world and of mm -hmm. living just according to the flesh, mm -hmm. then they are not on the road to conversion. Okay. It's not as simple They're as just, just uttering something. something. Just okay. like standing there before people... Uh, in a marriage so ceremony mm -hmm. and saying, you know, the preacher, mm -hmm. whoever's standing there, and I'll pronounce you, you know, he asked mm -hmm. the vows, first of mm -hmm. all, do you take this woman to be a lawfully wedded wife? Yeah. I do. Yes. Easy to say I do. Yes. But do you really, will you show sure. by your works, works that you're committed to this one person mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, husband and wife, will they show by their works they want that to, they're faithful? want to be together. Exactly. And they're not mm -hmm. going to go wandering mm -hmm. and go astray sure. and... Mm -hmm. um, Take others. Oh, okay. So, so again, it's it's a we show by our works, works. Mm -hmm. the repentance. So it's, so it's not like you you you're on the you you the highway and you jump out in the highway and say there's no car coming. And expect that uh, you you believe in your mind no car is coming so therefore I'm not going to be hit. So it's, repentance is not like that. Yes, I mean that would be a yeah. decent analogy. <laughs> <laughs> we forget we have a very big adversary. Yes. Jesus Christ. We, no, he's our advocate. Oh, adversary, yeah. Adversary. Advocate. So, we, sorry, sorry, we sorry. We seem sorry, to sorry. be Forgive forgetting. Me. Yeah. Forgive me. I That's forget. All right. <laughs> we seem to be forgetting that this world yes. is under the influence <laughs> of Satan, the devil. Mm -hmm. This is not God's word. world. Mm -hmm. It's Satan's world. He's mm -hmm. coming to bring his, his kingdom. Mm -hmm. And we are under not only that influence, mm -hmm. so is the whole world, mm -hmm. but we are fighting Mm -hmm. Against a fight, principality. We are getting, we have arrows that are thrown at us. Mm -hmm. We are fighting a fight. This is not just something, oh, I believe and I'm saved and I'm baptized and that's the end of it. It can become difficult. Mm -hmm. We have trials, tribulations, mm -hmm. but be of good cheer. Christ has overcome the world. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we forget that that repentance mm -hmm. and to stay on track right. and bury that old man, mm -hmm. those ways. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the way of the world is get. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be give. give yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So we got the whole world going one way, very mm -hmm. selfish, me, me, me. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the other way that we're mm -hmm. supposed to be go, be having a servant's so, attitude. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so mm -hmm. that's part of repentance. Perspective. Keep changing. So you keep changing. So repentance is keep changing. That's transformation of the mind. A coming away from what you form or believe and accepting uh, Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Not just to say that Jesus is my Lord and Savior, but also to do the will of God. Um, as the scripture says uh, in John 4, 24, God, God seeks true worshipers. And if we're talking Bible, if we're talking Bible as a program is, let's talk Bible. We have to talk about true repentance that leads to salvation. And not every repentance leads to salvation. Joe said, I can be for guilt, feel guilty of committing adultery, but young is because you were caught. If you were not caught, you continue to live in your life of sin. But true repentance is changing, is is turning away from those bad behaviors and and truly be faithful and committed to your spouse. Likewise, the scripture is saying that if we truly want to worship God in spirit and in truth, we also have to turn away. From what tradition believes that we might hold to and turn to the true worship of God because God seeks worse, true worshipers, not um, worshipers of things and idols, as Mama G said. So I asked Joe to, um, before Mama G comes in, 
What are your final comments on the, the matter of repentance? My final comments, Brother Solomon, would be this. Jesus is our Lord, our Savior, our Master. Let's look at his words. At the very beginning of his ministry, we have recorded, and you don't have to turn there for sake of time because we're running low here. Mark 1.15, it says, he came into Galilee, okay, this is the beginning of his ministry. He says, the time was fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent yes. and believe the gospel. Believe the good news of the coming kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. His final words, mm -hmm. recorded in Luke 24, verses 46 and 47, mm -hmm. just before he was taken up in a cloud, says, this is what is written. These are the words of Christ. This is what is written. Again, he's talking about the Old Testament. The Messiah would suffer and rise from the dead the third day, and repentance for forgiveness of sins would be proclaimed in his name to all the nations beginning at Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So from the beginning of his ministry mm -hmm. to his to very last day. words before being taken up, he's talking about Word repentance. Mama G. Mm -hmm. Well, what I would say, I mean, Jesus is the Word. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the Word of God. And in Isaiah 58.1, it says, cry aloud, mm -hmm. spare not, mm -hmm. lift up your voice like a trumpet, mm -hmm. and show my people their transgressions, mm -hmm. and the house of Jacob their sins. Okay. So sin, we have to repent of. We have to repent. So therefore, we have to repent of sin. Sin is a transgression of the law. And in this series of topics that we're going to do um, following repentance, we're going to look at faith in God, which is very important to our repentance. We're going to look at what it means to be baptized in the faith of Jesus Christ. What is baptism? Um, the laying on of hands, the resurrection of the dead, and the final judgment. How does that line out with the plan of salvation and what we talk about on Let's Talk Bible? So these are the topics that we will go over in a series that we are doing on this, on this topic uh, of, of, of repentance. So we hope that you sit tight, hold your couches, Drink a cup of coffee. water or coffee, <laughs> and we will see you again another time on Let's Talk Bible. Church of God International of Worcester, Massachusetts meets the second and fourth Saturday of each month. Services are held at the Comfort Inn Hotel located at 426 South Bridge Street, Auburn, Massachusetts.